from Melted Artworks. Thank you so much for joining me here and visiting my channel. It's so good to see you guys. Uh, this evening, I am here to tell you guys about this amazing art story called Golden Greek. <laughs> and I'm laughing because um, this particular piece took me, I would say, three tries. Three. <laughs> I mean it. And sometimes you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've ever started a pour and it just didn't look right or something happened with your pour to where it's either totally wrecked or it's just gone way too far and you have to start over. So you just scrape it off the canvas and you do it again and you might have to do it a third time before you just call it quits, right? So it's, it's one of those mantras that I live by uh, my favorite songwriter singer Aaliyah if you at first you don't succeed dust yourself off and try again okay just just keep going <laughs> so for this one is a uh, kind of a funny story I do have um, a creation video for this and so you'll see it in you know some of uh, some parts of this video I'll try to show it as best as I can but what happened was um, it started off going really well very beautiful pour and everything and I started like embellishing it and everything else like that it was great and then I adjusted my phone on my uh, phone holder and it's attached to the table and then all of a sudden my phone fell in the paint <laughs> Was just so devastated I was like oh my god my phone and so I stopped recording I washed off my phone thank goodness it's the same one that's recording this video here <laughs> it still works um, and I even took a picture of what it looked like when it fell in the paint you can just see just a dent in the pool <laughs> so I said you know what this will be a funny story to tell someone because I know that as artists, you guys can relate to this, okay? And so I, you know, continued on recording the video and everything. And um, I also did a second pour within that pour until I became, you know, it became Golden Greek. And so just some details on this piece. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. And the colors that I used was a deep turquoise uh, that I mixed in uh, a little bit of blue, but it was with a, a phthalo green and a phthalo blue. So I had to kind of mix them together in order to get the dark turquoise that I wanted. And it is um, a little bit of white. I think I had like a acrylic, sorry, artist loft acrylic white, um, you know, as my background. And then um, just gold i believe this one was arteza's gold i believe so it was arteza's gold and so this is one of my favorite paintings because um, teal and turquoise happens to be one of my favorite colors i love how gold kind of plays into this and in my mind's eye my artist's eye um this kind of reminds me of an artifact in a, a Greek museum, or if you've read any uh, Greek literature, or if you've been, um, you know, in encyclopedias and things like that, and you see anything about Grecian history, uh, Grecian stories or Roman stories, things like that, and they always have this pattern around the story that they're creating or that they're telling, and it kind of looks like it has like this border around it to where in the very middle of the piece, you can see that there's a story being told here. And so if you take a quick look here, let me know what this looks like to you. In my mind, it could be, you know, two people dancing or Greek people dancing. They're at a party in Greece back in those times, or it could be 
a Grecian warrior on its horse getting ready for battle. It could be, you know, one of those deities that could be coming across a human and there's a story unfolding here. It could also be some sort of nymph or, you know, water spirit and it's in the abyss of these Grecian waters. So there's so many stories that this can tell in my mind. And I wanna know in the comments, what do you guys see when you take a look at this? Maybe you see something different that I don't see. So I would love to know what your mind's eye or what your art eye sees when you take a look at this. So um, this piece is available on my website, meltedartworks.com. You can also email me for any questions in regard to this piece or maybe one of your very own. Um, I will say no two pores are exactly alike, but if you want something in these colors or something similar or some kind of um, art for yourself, you know, leave me a comment or email me and let me know. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for sharing in this experience with me. I really hope that you enjoy this video and many more to come. And if you guys have any ideas on other videos you would like to see me do, um, or even a color challenge, I love color challenges. Leave me some color challenges in the box below and uh, I'll see what I can do, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Have a great evening, be safe, Take care and I'll see you guys next time.